happy morning myself kusum from 10th fabulous standing here to give a seminar on the chapter electricity and from that chapter i have taken two small topics called resistance and resistivity now first let us know what resistance is before that i have a small example so that we can understand it better we all know that a wire consists of uh, atoms then impurities etc and we also know that electric current is nothing but the rate of flow of electric charges and these charges are nothing but the electrons these electrons when they want to move from uh, when they want to move they come across atoms impurities etc so this uh, impu this uh, causes collision and this collision is nothing but what we call it as a resistance the si unit of resistance is ohm si unit of resistance is ohm which is denoted by the letter omega and now i have a small question for you how can we change the current without changing the potential difference i think you have guessed right yeah it's by changing the resistance then how can we change the resistance it's simple by changing the factors affecting it so now let's see what are the factors affecting resistance the first one is the length of the conductor as the length increases the resistance also increases because the electrons have to move so much that the collision or uh, collision will be more and the resistance increases so if the length increases the resistance also increases and if the length decreases the resistance also decreases by this we can understand that uh, resistance is directly proportional to length and the second what we have is area of cross section as the area increases the length uh, as the area increases the resistance decreases because if the area is more the electrons will have more space to move so that collisions will be less and the resistance also increases also uh, resistance decreases so as the length increases the resistance decreases and if the uh, what area decreases then the resistance increases by this we can understand that area is inversely Uh, i'm sorry resistance is inversely proportional to area of the cross section the third what we have is nature of the material nature of the material because uh, some wires will have high resistance and some wires are will be made up of low resistance so the resistance also depends on the nature of the material and the last one is temperature as the temperature increases the resistance also increases because when the temperature increases the electrons will move so fast that the collisions also uh, collision will increase so that the resistance also increases uh, so the temp as the temperature increase the resistance also increases and if the temperature decrease the resistance also decreases now these are the four factors affecting resistance by these two factors we can understand that resistance is directly proportional to length and inversely proportional to area of cross section now how to remove this proportionality sign we know that if we want to remove this we can replace it by a constant so that constant is nothing but rho so this constant is called rho and in simple words it is resistivity now let us understand what resistivity is before understanding it uh, we, i have a small example now this is a wire i have connected it to a battery no ammeter voltmeter nothing just i have connected it to a battery now tell me will this wire have any natural resistance 
yes of course it will have because it uh, as i said wire comprises atoms then impurities etc so uh, this wire will have some natural resistance and this natural resistance is nothing but what we call it as a resistivity now let us derive the si unit of it we know that r is equal to rho l by a and we want the S, uh, we want the si unit of rho so we will send it to the left hand side a by l and now the resistance uh, si unit is ohm then area is meter square and length is meter we know that meter square is nothing but meter into meter 1 meter and 1 meter gets cancel so the si unit of rho is ohm meter and now let us uh, see what are the factors affecting resistivity the factors uh, this resistivity does not depend on the length or the area of cross section it depends only on two factors though that is nature of the material and the second one is temperature so these are the two factors affecting the resistivity and now uh, i have a uh, like now uh, there is one more fact about resistivity that is the good conductors will have low resistivity and the bad conductors or insulators uh, it will have high resistivity and now let us see the difference between resistance and resistivity first let us see what is resistance the definition first we will see resistance is the overall opposition of the current flowing in a conductor and what is resistivity as i said it's a natural resistance uh, natural resistance flowing of a wire and now second is the si unit si unit of resistance is ohm and uh, si unit of resistivity is ohm meter and factors third one is factors factors affecting are length of the conductor area of cross section nature of the material and temperature but resistivity there are only two factors that is nature of the material and the temperature now let us solve some problems based on this now let's read out the first question resistance of a metal wire of length 5 meter is 100 ohm if the area of cross section of the wire is 3 into 10 to the power minus 7 meter square calculate the resistivity of metal yeah uh, all the values are given directly we can solve it by using the formula now the formula is r is equal to rho l by a we want resistivity right so we'll bring uh, uh, this into left hand side so we get r a by l and we know that uh, this uh, resistance is given 100 into uh, that is given value of area is 3 into 10 to the power minus 7 and the length is given 5 and 5 ones 5 2 is 0 and 23 is a 60 into 10 to the power minus 7 and now if we want to write 6 into 10 to the power minus 6 meet a uh, ohm meter so this is the value of resistance uh, 6 into 10 to the power min, uh, minus 6 is the resistivity of the metal and uh, before winding up the seminar i want to say you all that stay home and stay safe thank you